Hey everyone, welcome back to another entry in the Armor tutorial series for Arrow version 6. Today we're going to discuss the Pages Manager. That one's denoted by the two little pages, also known as the copy icon here. So we're going to click into the Pages Manager, and the first thing you're going to see is this Site Views box. This is an image that is generated by our system every time you visit this page that'll show you how many times your website has been viewed. Under that is our Pages table. This is a table of all of the pages of your website. Uh, there's a lot of information here. We're going to run through it relatively quickly. It's relatively straightforward. So the order is a sort order of these pages. As you can see here, home is zero, company is one. Therefore, the home page comes before the company page in any menus or anything else. Under the home page, we have a sub page, which is denoted with this minus of the 404 page. So that one would be a child page of the home page. As you can see here, when you get to the second child, it's denoted with a plus. When you get to the third child, it's denoted with a plus and a minus. So you can use these arrows to rearrange the order. Please be aware that any sub pages will carry over. So if you move the home page, the 404 page is gonna move with it. The next column is on page SEO. Uh, there are three different icons you can get here. The A for the font or the font icon for your title the bars for your description and the key for, oh, excuse me, the key for your keywords. Uh, these can be highlighted to show off titles that will let you know what the each color means. Uh, if you're looking at yellow, the value is below what is recommended. Red is above and green means you're good. Then we've got the title column. The title column is the URL for that page. So to visit, say the company page, it would be armortex.com slash company to visit the clients page, armortext.com slash clients, et cetera, et cetera. The menu display is how it looks inside of a menu. So this is what you'll see when you wanna to click to the home page. this for the about the team or the about page, which is titled about the team. Then we've got a couple actions here. The enable simply allows people to visit that page. So you can see this Motorola page is toggled off while the Apple page is toggled on. The header will put it inside of your header menu, which is this menu here. Footer, which is the next column, we'll put it inside of your footer menu, which on armor is this menu here. Caching tells the system to cache this page. Uh, generally speaking, we recommend caching pages that aren't going to get changed very often because caching that page allows people to visit it and get the information off of it quicker. Then you've got your actions. The pencil icon will allow you to edit the page content with one of our fully featured WYSIWYG editors, as you can see here. The COG icon will allow you to edit the page settings, which include the slug, the SEO title, which appears in the little tabs at the top of your browser, the menu display, the keywords that you want associated with this page for SEO, as well as the meta description. If this has a parent page, module content and layout template, which I'm gonna come back to here in a second. Enable redirect, this allows you to use a link in your menu to link to an external service if you'd like to, or to link to another page in your website. And then a block for additional page-wide CSS and JavaScript in case you've got any functionality that requires that. Moving back to the module content and the layout template, module content this drop down here that says none will be populated with a bunch of entries based on the modules you have installed in order to put that module on the page. So say you want to put a gallery on this page, you'll need to set the module content to the gallery module, and then you'll need to check the layout templates to see if there's one for, in this case, the gallery. So with these two together, the system will know that this page has a gallery on it and we'll use the gallery layout to just display the information. All you'll have to do is enter the pictures into the gallery manager, which if you need help doing that, there should be a gallery video in this playlist. Please feel free to watch that. But basically this module content and layout template are how you lay out the data of your page and how you tell your system what goes on that page, unless it's a standard text page, say like your home page or an about page in which case the layout template will almost always be standard and the module content will be none. So besides the settings and the editing of the content, we've got the two pages here. This is our clone button. 
if you clone this page, it will make a duplicate. So you'll see here, the very bottom, I made this home clone. It's the exact same as the home page. But what this system allows you to do is to go through and make major edits to a page without messing up your current live website. And that way, if you don't like the changes, you don't even have to do anything. You just remove the page that you didn't like. The next one, the arrows turning into each other, that is our recovery system. Um, if major changes are made to the system and there isn't a recovery node already for this week, it will make one for you. So as you can see here, we've got a recovery node from May of 2018, as well as December of 2017. And you can preview those nodes right in the page. And if they look good, you can go back here and select to restore to an older version of the page in case edits went wrong or the site was hacked or any other reason that you might need to restore a page. This eyeball will allow you to preview the page without visiting it. It'll preview it if you see up here from actually inside of your Arrow CMS rather than looking at the home page. <coughs> and finally, using the X, you can delete pages. So we understand how the dashboard works now. We're gonna look at making a new page. This one is very similar to both the editing of the settings and the page content. It's actually both forms put together. So you can see here, you got your page name, which ends up being the URL, the SEO title, your menu display, keywords, description, just like before, parent module content, layout content, and redirect, just like before, as well as the additional CSS and JavaScript block and our content block. So we talked about these layout templates earlier, and those are actually accessible from within your system as well. So we can click over to view templates, and this is a list of the templates that you have available. Uh, our framework ships these exact ones by default, and these just lay out information certain ways. Um, if you look over here at Armor's website and we go to our blog, this is the blog layout. So it's got this wider column on the left side for the posts and it iterates through the recent posts based on the options set in the blog module. Well, it's got this smaller column with a search bar and the categories and the featured posts, recent posts and our mailing list. We can look at a couple other pages too. Um, for example, this about the team page has Armour's standard layout, which is the hexagon background with the white box on top of it and the text content in between. And even further, this is the home template. And the difference with this one is that the home template implements your banner slider, which is this piece of moving content here at the top. So as you can see, these layouts are super powerful and they allow you to fundamentally change the way data is laid out on your page. The downside to these is that they do require HTML, CSS, PHP knowledge in order to work with them well. But that's why we ship some by default and usually you're having us develop your website So we've laid it out in such a way that you probably shouldn't have to edit the templates But making a new template is not a bad idea Especially if you want to add a page that maybe lays out a little bit differently and that's the same interface You'll use this code editor here to create the template And that brings us to the final tool within the pages manager and that's our SEO audit tool this tool is relatively new to the framework and it allows you to look at all of your active pages that have content at the same time to monitor their SEO. You can check if the title is, has enough characters here. You can check to see if there are enough keywords, if your description is long enough. And these little icons here on the side do the same thing as they do in the dashboard. If you hover over them, they'll show you a little blurb about what you did, but they also change colors depending on how well your title goes. So if we're looking at deals here, you can see the green A, but as I add text to this, it turns red because my title is too long. And instead of saying uh, characters remaining until maximum, this changes to characters over the limit because we are now six characters over the limit. If we go back, everything changes. Basically, it allows you to do a quick audit of the basic SEO on each of your pages. On top of that, if we click on the page data button, it will show you the URL to that page, a quick note about how we do this, but otherwise it shows you keyword clusters. So for example, this is Armour's homepage. In our H1s on our homepage, these are the different keywords we have in our, head, our heading level twos. This is the keywords we have, et cetera, et cetera. And then at the bottom, we've got page totals. This also comes through the content. 
And so you can see a quick density of what keywords are already on your page to adjust your SEO as you see fit. I believe that's it for the pages manager. If you're still confused, have any questions, or think I left something out, please feel free to email us at support at armortex.com, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible with the information you need. We really appreciate you guys consuming our content. You guys are the reason that we get to do what we love every day. You're the reason that we're still here doing it, so thank you again. And as always, stay awesome.